Hi students, so this video is going to talk about radiation, wavelengths, and danger. Um, essentially we've got four goals for this quick video. Uh, it'll be to define electromagnetic radiation, define wavelength, uh, talk about the speed of radiation, and then finally is radiation dangerous. Um, so first just to talk about what electromagnetic Blah, 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 what electromagnetic radiation actually is. So electromagnetic radiation is any, essentially any type of radiation given off by a star, right? Now we can also generate a lot of this radiation, but that's a good way to think about it in terms of its basic form, is it originally comes from a star. And it travels in waves all right waves so electromagnetic radiation i don't know why i'm having so much trouble saying that today can be light it could be meaning visible light it could be uv radiation it could be x-rays it could be gamma rays it could be radio waves right and there's a few others as well. I'm just listing out the first couple that come to mind. So you've probably heard of all of these before, at least in passing. You know that UV radiation can give you sunburns. X-rays is what you do when you break a bone. Gamma rays, you probably, you know, if you're into like um, sci-fi, you've heard about gamma rays and gamma guns or something like that. Radio, because you, well, listen to the radio. And light, because we need light to see. When it's dark out, we turn on the lights. Um, that's technically electromagnetic radiation. So a wavelength itself is... If this here, this includes three waves. Here, right here, would be the crest. Here would be the trough. And here's another crest. Another trough, another crest. Right? So trough and crest are the bottom and the top, respectively, of the wave. So the wavelength is measuring from the top to the top. That would be your length. Or, similarly, it can be from the bottom to the bottom. Just like we always do in science, we measure from the same spot to the same spot. Meaning when we're measuring mousetrap cars, it's from the front of the car to the front of the car. So from the top to the top, or the bottom to the bottom. That would be the length of your wave. So this one, you know, medium-sized wavelength, here, you're going to have shorter wavelengths. From the top to the top, it's going to be a much shorter distance than it is up here. You could also have very long like that, where now you're measuring from the top to the top, and it's an even greater distance between the two. This would be like radio, this might be like light, and this might be like x-rays. So as you can see, different types of radiation has different wavelengths. So we've done one, we've done two. Speed of radiation. It all travels at the same speed. So it doesn't matter what the wavelength is, whether, whether it's a radio wave, a light wave, or an x-ray wave, they all travel at the same speed. So what we're saying is this amount to this amount of radiation all travels a distance in the same amount of time. We normally think of that as the speed of light, but really it's just the speed of radiation. Since light and UV rays and X-rays and gamma rays and radio waves are all radiation, really, <clears throat> when you say the speed of light, that's a misnomer. You're just saying the speed of electromagnetic <clears throat> radiation. Excuse me. It all travels at the same speed. Right? Now, the difference there is that <clears throat> if they're all traveling at the same speed, if you're looking at radio waves, you're going to get hit in this distance to this distance. You're going to get hit by one wave, right? You're going to get hit by the top of one wave while you're listening to the radio for that amount of time. If you're standing in front of light, you're going to get hit by one, two, three crests of the waves, three tops of the wave, right? In x-rays, we'd actually have to make this a little bit longer there, right? You're going to hit by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, three, and seven. Now remember, this isn't this is not drawn to scale, and this is not actually accurate. But the point that I'm showing you is, in the same amount of time, you would be hit by one crest of a radio wave. You'd be hit by three crests of a light wave, and you'd be hit by seven of an X-ray. 
So that tells you that in the same amount of time, you're going to be hit by x-rays more than you are by radio waves, which is why we think of x-rays as more dangerous. Really, if you stood in front of a radio wave machine for hours and hours and hours on end, you could be hit by the same number of crests of radio waves. And light, if you get close enough to it or if you stare at it for long enough, you could, of course, go blind. X-rays, if you get an X-ray done every single day for a week, you might just start, have some side, start to have some side effects. Right? If you stand, if you're an X-ray technician and you're always in the room rather than stepping outside of the room, or if you're not wearing the vests that they put on you, or you know if they're constantly in there, they will start to have some side effects. They could get sick. They could even die. So is radiation dangerous is a tricky question. So what conclusions we can draw is it depends on two things. One thing is the type of radiation. And the second thing is the duration of exposure. So the type matters because if it's a radio wave, we're exposed to radio waves all the time. And it's not that they're traveling slower, but we're just being hit by fewer of those crests and troughs. So we're being, being hit by fewer waves, essentially. Light, we're being hit by more of them, but still relatively small a number of wavelengths, even in a couple hours of light. UV rays are in between X-rays and light ray rays, and we know that we can go to the beach and be out in the sun for a while, but we should put on sunblock or we should be under, you know, some kind of shade for a little while because those UV rays, after a couple hours, they're going to start burning your skin, right? X-rays, you know that you go into an X-ray once, right? You don't hang out in an X-ray room. You don't take off the lead vest. You don't just sit around and hang out in there because X-rays you're going to get hit by more of those waves. So by type, really what we mean is the length of the wave. So generally speaking, a long wavelength is safer than a short wavelength, meaning that you can be exposed to a longer duration of the radio waves than you can of the x-ray and still be safe. However, like we were talking about with light, uh, light waves, light rays, if you stared at a bright light for long enough, the duration of exposure, even that relatively safe wavelength of light could eventually burn out your corneas and you could go blind. Um, just like with the UV light, you're fine to go out there for 30 minutes without sunscreen, but if you're out there for 60, you might get a sunburn. So it depends on both things. We can't say whether it's just inherently safe or inherently dangerous. Technically, all radiation is dangerous, right? Sitting out in front of any type of radiation for any amount of time will eventually do you some harm. So, however, some of those, like x-rays or gamma rays, will do that harm faster. The duration that you have of safe exposure is much smaller. So, are they dangerous? Yes. The degree to which they are dangerous depends. So, if you're asked that question, you should say both yes as well as it depends.